We've seen an incredible change just in the last uh, last few days. As you know, uh, on, on this show and in, in many meetings with CEOs, I've been advising them to not rely on the, uh, the comfort of a shield of collective action through trade associations that have been largely ineffectual. Speak their own mind, but do it with homework and preparation, showing grassroots legitimacy. Don't get into a Rosie O'Donnell mudslinging thing with, with the president. And in fact, he can often deal with, with a counter opinion quite well if it's based on facts and you're not insulting him and, and not giving him a lot of philosophy. He's very pragmatic. And that's been working out well for a lot of CEOs until this sudden sea change we've seen in the last few days. I've heard directly from 36 major CEOs uh, in, in calls, emails, and Andrew had a piece in today's New York Times just talking about how much of this is going on uh, backstage, of course, with an awful lot of a uh, frenzied concern as we're seeing individual CEOs now speaking out on issues that aren't particularly relevant to their company alone. But, of course, uh, you know, uh, uh, Tim Cook of Apple and Howard Schultz, of course, uh, of Starbucks, but also Jeff Immelt of GE and uh, people such as Lloyd Blankfein of Goldman Sachs, Mark Fields of Ford, and people who, these are not, you know, flamethrowers. These are very no. sensible, grounded folks. And I haven't seen the business community this charged up since um, maybe Section 404 in 2002 in, in Sarbanes-Oxley yeah. or, or maybe TARP. But, you know, Jeff, part of what you bring up is the idea of how you approach this, to do it with facts, to do it um, quietly, probably. I, I would guess a lot of what we're, what's happening is happening behind the scenes, because if you try and take them on with an open letter, I don't know how effective that would be. But I did talk to one CEO this weekend who said that, look, in the meetings that this person has had with him, he, he, he listens. And that's a little different than what they've been used to with um, with, with um, CEOs are what CEOs have been used to with president in the past. Well, yes, I mean, as as I reminded, uh, I met with president to talk with President Trump. I guess now about three weeks ago, Friday, uh, when he still had a transition team that was active, and I was reminding him that uh, that uh, I was the first 18 months ago before anybody except his family members on his tra on his then transition committee was a supporter of his. That there are certain qualities as the first CEO to become commander in chief that he was bringing to bear in terms of framing issues and communications and problem solving, and accountability and metrics. And he seemed to get all that. And we talked about the taking charge process. This is a terrible taking charge process, especially these last few weeks. He's much better than this. He's being misadvised, I think, by a very small group of advisors that are playing to some, some uh, instincts that aren't, aren't working out well. You know, the old cliche about new broom sweeping clean, that's actually an old Rastafarian uh, proverb. The rest of it is, and new brooms don't sweep clean unless I've swept a lot of floors, but, but the rest of it is new brooms sweep clean, but old brooms uh, know the corners. Mm -hmm. Is that being able to pick out the nuances here is really critical. The blizzard of activity of these, uh, of these uh, 20 different executive orders in the, in the, first, uh, in the first 10 days, uh, oh, President Obama closing, you know, announcing he's going to close Gitmo, of course, we still have it open. Right as a detention center, there were, there were only six executive orders in the first month that, that Obama had there. And if you take a look, right. there were, you know, presidents, our founding fathers had one or two or three executive orders through their entire administration. Jeff. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.